Hey Rogue Tech fans, I've got one small extra video that I hope will help you all get ready for the new online map for Season 4. Basically, not only have we got masses and masses of new content with HHR, there's loads of background stuff that's been done. I mean, full credit to the whole team, they have just been working so hard but there's also stuff that you just won't see i mean for example this week alone we have had a whole load of new dll's from k mission that have been added to the um to rogue tech and honestly the difference is made to the performance of the of um, the mods is just incredible just wait till you see how fast you'll load into mission wait until you see the overall performance issues that have been improved it's just great but he's also done an, something else for us that is going to help everybody to register your career no longer do we need to go and wade through all of the file folders to find our uh, career id if you look in the top left we now have a new button it actually tells you first of all your online state if you're unregistered registered or vetted if you hover over it it will tell you your client id and career id but even better if we click on it you then have these two new options we'll come back to career link in a minute but you've got career id what this allows you to do if you click that it will copy across your career id so that you can input it straight into the rogue war discord so if you go to the register and vetting section on the rogue war discord you've copied your career id from here initially type um, exclamation mark c reg and then put in your career id and that will register your career once you've been registered you can also get it vetted it's similar this time we do c, uh, exclamation mark c vet and your career id for those of us that have previously been registered uh, sorry previously been vetted vetting will be almost immediate for those people that are new to rogue war bit bear in mind that you will potentially have to wait up to eight weeks after joining the rogue war discord before you will be accepted for vetting however that can be shortened by going and becoming a lot more active and getting us to know you a bit better Anyway, once you've actually become vetted, you also have the option, if you need to, to change one career to another from your vetted career. Bear in mind you're allowed as many registered careers as you like, but you can only ever have one vetted. If you wish to switch your vetted career, there is a command, exclamation mark SVET, which will allow you to switch from your current vetted career to your new one, where you just put in your new career ID. However, that does have a cool week, two week cooldown, so make sure you uh, are absolutely sure if you're ready to switch career. It, you just can't simply switch from one vetted career to another every day uh, for obvious reasons. Anyhow, once you've been registered and or vetted, we also have this career link option. This allows you to actually get your entire URL that will allow you to see your career on the Rogue War um, website so you can see how you're progressing, how many missions you've done, all of your different stats for um, your difficulty settings and so on. And instead of having again to go and manually put in your career ID into that, the entire link is placed here for you. So simply copy that, put it in a browser and away you go. Anyway, that's all there is to this little tiny um, extra tutorial to help you get ready for the new online season. I hope you all do really well this season and I look forward to the battles. It's going to be amazing. So if you like, please like, <laughs> please subscribe, and I'll see you all on the battlefield.